Hello, my name is Jim Jones and I've been a professional percussionist all my life. I've worked for the last past 41 years for the Royal Shakespeare Company in Stratford-on-Avon uh, but as well as that I've done lots of freelance work with many of the country's symphony orchestras, opera companies, ballet, all that sort of thing, all things orchestral percussion. In the 1990s I taught orchestral percussion at the Birmingham Conservatoire, which is where I first met Mark Balderson. He was a very fine player, but he was great to teach because he, of his exuberant personality, his bubbly character, and we actually became great friends and kept in touch long after he'd finished his studies. A couple of years ago, Mark's sister, Amanda, uh, asked me to come and sit on the panel of judges for the auditions for the Foundation for giving grants of various kinds to young percussionists. I was so impressed with the, the way that the whole thing worked. I mean, there were some very advanced pupils who needed a helping hand to get onto the next level of their playing, but there were also lots of beginners people who were just starting out on their percussion journey and the foundation gave them grants just for maybe for some extra lessons apart from their school lessons and for equipment that kind of thing so I think what the foundation does is absolutely fantastic I hope everything goes well this year good luck with the drum festival thank you
play my play the drums. I've been involved with the Mark John Balderson Foundation for three years. I've been in scholarships which have helped me pay for better quality equipment and to play for lessons. I have also been in a few workshops which have been really fun. The Mark John Balderson Foundation gives young drummers a chance to play outside of their houses and to play with other people. Hi everybody, my name is Dave Hignett and I'm one of the trustees of this fantastic Mark John Bolderson Percussion Foundation. I first met Mark uh, around 12 years ago when we were playing at the Theatre Royal in a show. Uh, I think it was West Side Story, it's a long time ago, but what a great percussion piece that is for, you know, to play. And of course Mark was fabulous in it and we drew up a really long and lasting friendship then. Uh, when we formed the Time Valley Big Band in 2011, uh, Mark was of course the first choice on percussion and drums. Uh, and we went on to do many a great gig with the Time Valley Big Band over the years. Uh, there was the Blythe and Sunderland Tall Ships. We played at the county show every year for about six years. The Corbridge and Haydenbridge Beer Festivals. Uh, just to mention a few really, we did events and dances around the area. So we've had a, re you know, a really good time playing with that, that band. Also, uh, when we formed the Jubilee Band in 2012 with Core Music and the Hexham Queen's Hall, uh, Mark was of course the first call on percussion on that one. And uh, with the fabulous George Hutton, who was involved in the festival, he was on the drum kit there. So that was a great gig, what a lineup. Also played uh, with Mark on various uh, Hexham Stage Society gigs, loads of shows, the Hexham Jazz Quintet or Quartet, depending on who was about at the time. We did many, because Mark was a great jazz drummer. Uh, and also, there's something I'd love you to go and check out on YouTube. If you Google uh, or search on YouTube, the tribute to Spike Jones by Prudder Community Band, you'll see Mark at his very best there. Uh, what a showman he was, incredible. I didn't realise until the time. Uh, and what a player. So that's a tribute to Spike Jones for the community band. So check that out on YouTube. Mark always, always really encouraged young drummers. He was very encouraging, especially people like Dom Neeson, who will uh, pay tribute to that. Uh, and so the, trip, the foundation is such a fitting tribute to his legacy. Uh, it's already helped so many drummers. It's helped them with, uh, with lessons, lesson fees, uh, with equipment, also helped uh, Dom Neeson and Ewan Coratang uh, get into, uh, help them with getting getting their experience to get into the Leeds College of Music to do a degree. Hopefully when lockdown finishes they'll actually get back to, to making music, you know, in person. Uh, it's uh, also the uh, foundation uh, has actually provided my three jazz bands. I've got the Tyne Valley Jazz Ensemble, the Tyne Valley Youth Big Band, which feeds ultimately into the Tyne Valley Big Band uh, to help provide them with great drummers. We've had loads of good, great drummers uh, because of the experience they've got at the festival. So I thank all the uh, trustees and Amanda for that. It's a privilege really to have met and played with the talent that was Mark Balderson. And I'm especially proud to have called him my mate. He was a fabulous musician, a fabulous friend, uh, very, very funny guy. We all enjoyed his company so much. Uh, and what an amazing job Amanda and the rest of the team has done with the first festival and now the second festival offering all these brilliant workshops and events. So long, long may it continue and I'm sure it will do. Uh, enjoy the festival everybody and have a great time and I hope to get back to live music very, very soon and the big bands and the youth bands were all raring to go. Thank you. Hello, oh, my name is Jed Miller and I've been a drummer for up to eight years. I uh, earlier in this year took part in an amazing uh, music drum off competition, whatever you would call it. And honestly, it was just an amazing experience to build up some performance confidence and practice my skills playing live. Um, and I feel like Amanda provides such amazing uh, resources and organises it um, so well bringing together a wonderful community of drummers and musicians within the Northeast. Um, especially within these trying times, it's amazing, honestly, that there is something that can just bring people together and we can celebrate something we all love, which is drumming. And yeah, thank you, Amanda. And I look forward to seeing 
all the amazing artists we have here today who will play for us and teach us some amazing new things. My name is Kevin Waterman and I'm a percussionist with the Royal Shakespeare Company. Now, I studied in Birmingham at what is now called the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire. Back in the day when I was there, it was called Birmingham Conservatoire. And while I was there, I met another percussionist called Mark Balderson. Now, Mark was a lovely guy, all right? We had a lot of fun together, played together a lot, socialised together a lot. But very sadly, he's no longer with us. He's passed away. But I'm so pleased that a foundation has been formed in his name and his memory. Now, the foundation works very hard, and I must congratulate Amanda uh, and all her friends for all the effort they've put into founding it and also to raising funds for it. Um, it helps people uh, financially to further their studies. Um, but the other thing which I think it's tremendous at doing, when I, and it's something that I'm very passionate about, is um, giving our players, young players in the North East, a taste of all the percussion possibilities there are out there. Now, in my job at the theatre, at the Royal Shakespeare Company, I don't just stick to one instrument. We have to play whatever is suited to the production we're on. So you heard me start there with the Irish bro, and that gets used an awful lot, and we have done some plays that have been set in Ireland. Some of the plays we do are bang up to date, and some of the scores that they like to use are really cool rock scores. Which is really cool. Some of the scores are in the mid-twenties, you know, like 1950s, and they're a little bit jazzier. Most recently, last season, the show that I was working on, one that I really enjoyed, was called The Museum in Baghdad. It was based in Baghdad, in Iraq. The score was really cool, lots of electronics. But amongst that, there were some traditional instruments that were used. And the instrument that I was mainly playing is this one here. It's called a darabuka. Um, one of my favourite instruments to play, really. I like to dabble with it, like to get it out for battle. Um, and here we go. So, great work from the foundation. And, you know, if you're the kind of player, if, if you start out on drum kit and you want to just stay with drum kit and develop the drum kit, then good for you. And there's, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing that because there's a lot of work to do and there's a lifetime to give to the instrument. If you're the kind of player who enjoys playing tuned instruments like the marimba, you can stick with the marimba for your whole life and still not cover everything. It's such an amazing instrument. But if you're like me and you like to dabble and expand and try other things and try other techniques and explore music from around the world, then the foundation will help you, you know. Enjoy its workshops, listen in, you know, and if you're tempted, start working, start expanding, start moving on. So, well done to everybody. Good luck to you youngsters. Keep practicing, keep working hard. I hope very much to be up with you in the North East sometime soon. Maybe bring some of the more interesting instruments that we use at the theatre, you know, demo to them, get you to have a go. So, take care everybody, and I very much hope to see you all soon. Bye for now. Uh...